Hello everyone and welcome to a new tutorial. Today we will be creating the chain frost ability from the Dota 2 universe. After watching this, you can alter the visuals of your ability to better fit your game. I am going to start by setting up the scene. We will add a plane to our level to act as our ground, then create a new material and give it the default checker texture that comes with Unity. Assign the material to our plane. Now I'm going to create a sphere object and set its scale to 0.5 and then duplicate it 5 times so that we have a couple of different targets to bounce off. Select all our spheres and rename them to enemy and also set their tag to enemy. This is important, make sure their tag is set to enemy. Next, create a new particle system and on the shape options set its shape to sphere and radius to 0.5. I'm going to lower the duration to 3 as well as its lifetime and set the speed to 0.1. Increase the simulation speed and set the simulation space to world. It's looking very much okay. Let's fade it a little. Enable color over lifetime and set a keyframe at the very end with an alpha of 0. Enable size over lifetime and use the ramp going downwards. Duplicate our loop particle system and make it a child of it, then rename it Impact. On its settings, I'm going to increase the start speed and disable looping. Then down under our emission, we will set the rate over time to zero and add a burst of 30 particles. I will also lower the simulation speed to 4. Down in our render settings, set the trail material to be the default particle system material and enable trails. That's cool. Um, last thing I'll do is just increase the burst amount to 50. Create a new empty game object and name it Chain Frost. Then add a sphere collider as well as rigid body. Uncheck use gravity on the rigid body and enable its trigger on the sphere collider. The radius here is what we will be within our acquisition range, so anything inside it has a chance to get chased by our chain frost. I will leave it at uh, 10. 10 is fine. Create a new script called Chainfrost script and add it to your Chainfrost game object. Now make our particle system a child of the Chainfrost and reset its position. I'm going to hit play and see how the particle looks. Okay, I like it. It's not bad. Open the Chainfrost script on your programming software of choice and let's begin coding. We will begin by setting up some variables. First will be an int called bounces. Name is pretty self-explanatory, I think. Create four public floats for movement speed, rotation speed, distance to target, and the AOE damage radius. A transform to store our current target and a string that will be the tag of the enemies which we have set to enemy. Now for some private variables, the particle systems we have created and then a boolean called is dead that will control the movement and rotation of the chain frost. We need to store all our possible targets inside the radius, so we will use a list. Under our start, we will need to reference our two particle systems and then we check if we have not assigned our target and the possible target list has more than zero available targets then we remove the target from the list just as a cleanup precaution even though we already checked if we have a target um, then we set the random int and use the random int to assign the target from the list in update we will do a check if the chain for us is not dead and then another check to see if we have a target if we don't then we just copy what we did up here to set a random target from the list if we have a target though, we do a quick cleanup to remove the target from our list just so that we don't repeat the same target. Then we store the distance between our target and the chain for us in a temporary variable. Now we do our rotation over time and same with the movement. You can change the rotation speed and movement speed in the inspector. Last thing we will do here is check if this DIST variable is smaller than the distance we have set in the inspector and down here 
create a new function called chainfrost and add it inside our if statement. Cool, now under our chainfrost function, we will copy this real quick and paste it down here. Play our impact particle we created and lower the bounces by 1. Then we check if the bounces are equal or smaller than 0 and we create a new function called finish chain frost and add it inside our if statement. Cool, now for the AOE damage we will do a overlap sphere to get all the colliders inside the radius then for each loop to check if any of them have an enemy script so we can lower their health. I can't really show you how to do this part since every game is different. Uh, your enemy script will most likely not look like mine but here's a quick example of how I will do it. Alright and for our finished chain frost all we really have to do here is stop the loop in our update so enable is dead and then get the emission of our loop particle system and set it to zero. Then destroy this game object after 2 seconds. We need to add and remove possible targets to our list, so we will use untrigger stay and do a bunch of checks before we add it to our list. First check is if the tag of this collider equals to our string we will set in the inspector and also if our list does not already contain this and then if our target is not equal to this collider's transform and lastly if it is not dead we add it to our list yeah lots of checks to avoid unwanted bugs you know we also need to remove them if they leave our trigger so all we really need to check here is the tag and if our chain frost is not dead Lastly, I'm going to go up here and add a debug boolean so that we can visualize our AOE radius on impact. Create a Ondra gizmos at this transform's position you'll see in our radius, then voila, all done. Back in Unity, we can see all our exposed values here. We will set the bounces to something really high just for testing purposes. Move speed to 5, rotation speed to 10, Distance to 0.5 or actually leave it as 1 for now. Radius to 5. Our target to any one of these. You can also leave this empty and at the start it will grab a random target within its radius. For the tag to check we will write this tag. Alright, cool. I'm going to move the camera to a better view then hit play. You can see it is exploding way before it reaches the target, so lower the distance to maybe 0.1. Increase it to 2 just to test. And yeah, not good. Back to 0.1. Bring up the move speed a little. Higher now. You can see it's circling because its rotation is too low, so increase it to 50. The chain frost is basically inside our enemy, so it is just standing still. To fix this, just increase the distance to something like um, 0.4. It's all working as intended. Cool stuff, man. Let's check our AoE damage radius. Oh, that's big. Let me lower that. Okay, that's much better. We successfully recreated the chain frost, guys. Good job. You can customize it to look however you like. Here are a few examples. Go crazy with it. Please subscribe. I have an ability from Warcraft 3 queued up to recreating Unity, so stay tuned for that. Thank you for watching and have a good one. Bye bye.